hello and good morning it's monday surprisingly usually these are on tuesdays but i've decided to do another college week in my life i was going to do one last week but then i wasn't in class because lots of like stuff happened but we are back in action for a very busy week i have two presentations this week that's why i'm one of the reasons why i'm going into college today uh even though i don't have class i'm also volunteering today at a dance class for kids with special needs i'm so excited uh so yeah i thought it'd be fun to just bring you along for this busy grad school week of my life i feel like this is how it really is so brief rundown of this week so that I don't have to keep explaining myself. Today is Monday, I don't have class. I was maybe gonna meet up with two people that I have to present with on Wednesday, but nobody can do it. So we're all gonna do the readings and everything separately, make all of our notes separately, and then just do the presentation, like build a presentation on Tuesday afternoon. Tomorrow I'm presenting in class and that's just a verbal presentation, so that's not bad at all. And I have the thing done, so anyways, I just need to like structure what I'm gonna say. Rewind. So today, <laughs> it is currently almost 11 a.m. I'm gonna drive into college. I'm helping out at this class from three till four and I'm probably gonna drive home right after then. When I'm in the library, I'm gonna try and structure my presentation for tomorrow and do the readings for the presentation on Wednesday. Uh, I don't know which one I'm gonna do first though. I'll figure that out. So then I'm helping out the class and then I'm gonna come back here and probably I want to go to the gym, but I don't feel so well. Then tomorrow, 9 a.m. start presenting. And then after the class ends at midday, I'm going to work on putting together the actual presentation with the two girls I'm presenting with. Then on Wednesday, we have the presentation, 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. And then we have a little break. And then we have another class at like 2.15-ish. Thursday, we just have like a two-hour class, 9 till 11. So that's good. We might have class on Friday. I don't know. Uh, also, I'm going to be presenting Tuesday next week as well because I didn't structure my present presentation schedule very well. So we're going to drive in. I commute to college if you didn't know, but we're going to get started. I'm actually wearing leggings today. My little lemon leggings. So weird for me. I always like, like to dress nice uh, for like most things, honestly. Um, but because I'm going to be helping out with kiddos and they're like, three to six i think is kind of the age group so they're like really really small so like those are really small kids so i was like i'm gonna be probably near them on the ground and stuff so leggings were the best option today and a big sweater and i have a sports bra underneath because i'm lazy hopefully my dog's not freaking out with me sitting in my car because i haven't left yet getting on the road oh also i have a smoothie as a snack <laughs> it's also 11 a.m and i ate a quesadilla it's like the exact same angle because it's just in my um freaking paramount but i just got to college it took me so long because i took like I, I tried to find another car park and then i i couldn't and i was somewhere on campus that i had no idea where it was and i just got confused so i went to the regular car park i usually go to which is far away and then he had to park in like the furthest away part i am literally at the furthest sec like the second last i'm like 25 30 minutes later than i wish I was I really don't think I'm gonna be able to get this work done uh, I'm definitely gonna try obviously but I also don't know where the class I thought I knew where it was the dance class that I'm helping out with but it turns out I don't so I'm gonna try and look it up on Google Maps uh, see if that gives me a better idea thankfully I have my car so I could always drive there so we're gonna go we're gonna try and do as much homework one thing that's really good about here is that there's like a postgraduate study area like area in the library that you have to swipe your card to get into and it's nice i enjoy it because it's like so busy in the other place and you're like boop you go into your like nice nice place i really don't want to do this uh i was just listening to the carly unfiltered episode um of bad on paper and it was really interesting somebody maybe somebody listening to this watching this video can answer this question I am desperate to know. See, I, I'm I don't read like Reddit threads or things like that, and they were talking about these like blogger snark or something. I don't read those kind of things. But what New York blogger? I believe it's like New York area, that larger area. Two large bloggers. One of them reported the other one to the IRS. I think it was maybe six or seven years ago at this point. Who was it? I want to know. I think that it might have something to do with Krista Robertson and Carly Heitlinger, and that's why they're not like buddies. But um, 
let me know if you know because I'm really curious. I'll be disappointed in either of them if they reported it but also there's a part of me I'm a very like legalistic person like I'm a rule follower I love the rules we set the rules we follow the rules I'm that person so a part of me is kind of like should be following the rules <laughs> but I'm really curious to know who like tried to rat who out because that's interesting. That may have seemed like a very brief intermission, but it was actually about like two hours more. Uh, in the library, I got my reading done. It was actually just one paper we had to read for the thing tomorrow. So I read that fine. Like, do I think I'm gonna be like, oh yes, we can do a bond presentation on that. No, uh, not because it's super, not super interesting, but because I, like we need to read other papers and just with everything last week, everything got like pushed forward, but this was already a super busy week for me. So, it would have been better if I had read that stuff before and there's other stuff I want to do when I get home. So I don't have that much to do when I get home though so I'll probably figure that out. But what I really need to do when I go home is think about my presentation for tomorrow because I did actually read through that and it's fine. I'm pretty confident with it. I just need to like restructure it because I find it really hard to do things, you probably notice when I'm talking here, in like a linear fashion. Like nothing is linear to me so uh even if you see i'm gonna do a video on how i like take notes in college and how i organize my notes in college um because i've done it i didn't really like do notes in undergrad i know it sounds terrible and i did totally fine um but i like did my readings maybe 50 percent of the time and pretty much never took notes so i'm kind of the worst but uh grad school is different now i'm pretty early like it doesn't start for 45 minutes and it's probably like 15 minutes uh away but i just wanted to figure out where the uh, it's like in an office but it's obviously like they must have a space that we're able to do this yeah i'll update you after the dance class i hope it's super cute i hope i'm able to do it like i hope they're not like oh it's okay we don't need you today i'd be really really sad i'm home again so you can tell the light's terrible here um because it's like 5 p.m so it's dark outside um woohoo winter the class was so fun there are only three kiddos there and I think usually there's only four so um like I I have a regular size for it I swear yeah it was so cute like honestly such a handful but like little kids are just such a handful and I love it and now I think I'm gonna go to the gym I'm looking so greasy I have like schoolwork I could do but like what I should do is actually what I should say good morning so I'm actually if you can tell I'm stopped in traffic uh but I thought I would have fun here um i did go to the gym yesterday i think i have like the most brief clip of that um but i wasn't feeling so great and then i just had to like work on the wording of the presentation that i'm doing today um which is in this class which i'm going to be hella late for uh but there seems to have been a bad car accident uh which is unusual but um yeah so i'm just waiting that out Today I just have this class, 9 until 12, and then I have a good group project that we're going to work on. It's just kind of scary. Never been in a car accident. Such you would. It's obviously really not good. I've had two fire engines, well first I had the guards, then I had two fire engines, and then the fire rescue, you know like the accident rescue in the van. Then another fire truck. And now, and now, oh, I had an ambulance before as well. We're moving. Okay, we'll see if I get to class. Well, I will get to class. Class is like three hours, so. But I think my presentation was last anyway, so it's fine. Here we are. It is so late, <laughs> not so late. It's like quarter to five. Class got out at 12. Uh, we waited around for 40, 35 minutes maybe. Uh, and I ate a bagel, it was disgusting. And we're only done our project now. Sometimes the thing that you're asked to present on is kind of difficult and that's what it was in this situation. So it's all done, it's all tidied away for tomorrow. And once that's done, then I feel like big relief. I just remembered that there was a dance class I was thinking of taking tomorrow. I really feel like I'm not going to take that. We're going to head home, maybe make some banana chocolate chip muffin and just relax because I have not done that 
in a while. Hi, it's almost 4 p.m. I uh, haven't vlogged that all today because I had a morning. I need to take off my coat. This is my, my coat from Cezanne. I'm obsessed with it. It was a birthday present from me to me. Yeah, I caught I kept it on getting in the car because it's raining and it's cold. So, uh, yeah, my outfit's cute today. I should show it all to you. But I didn't vlog this morning because I got up a little later than I had hoped. Then I was trying to leave the house. So, finally left. Got out just on time. And then I was like singing in the car as I do. And um, my fuel light came on. So I had to like zoom, zoom, come off the motorway. Refuel. I hate refueling. It's just money. It's just like ching, 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 gone. And then got back on. It was all fine. And I parked in a nearer car park where I have to pay. So I need to find the money for that. Yeah, I really couldn't afford to be late. So I, I, that's why I paid for the parking like closer to uh, the building. Because... Um, I was actually presenting. I talked about it yesterday. Presentation went fine. Uh, yeah, the topic was sustainable development. Then I just went and sat and just chatted to some people before our next class, which was at 2.15, and now it's like 3.45, 3.50. So, so I'll go home to my sweet doggo, see how she's doing. Uh, she's been home alone for a little while. And I should have a package, I think, from nailpolishdirect.co.uk. Uh, I'm a big nail polish gal. I always have nail polish on. So, um, yeah, I found this nail polish direct at UK and they, um, they have a huge selection and they have a lot of like, uh, things like China Glaze, which is really harder to get your hands on here and Orly, which are ones that I love. Uh, they also have Zoya, which I do really like as well. Um, but this, I have an Orly top coat on this. You can see how shiny these nails are. Like, whoa, they're like a week old. Insane. So I'm going to go home see if my package is there i'll show you if it is um and maybe make some muffins and just eat some nice oh my mom made crap on it yes so i have that for he was so excited that i'm home hi honey oh yeah any other small breed dog that does this hi bunny are you so happy i'm home okay Sparkles is the cutest thing when I get home sometimes. She's so excited. She's also excited because sometimes if you're, I know, I'm gonna get it for you now. If you're away for a couple of hours, we give her like a little treat or something. Especially if she doesn't pee inside and etc. So, uh, you want a snack? So cute, I'll show you me giving it to her. She's just the cutest little thing. Also, my dog is 13, so she's actually very lively for an old dog. You want a snack? Yeah? I'm not gonna make you shake because I'm holding this ready. Bye. And now she skips. Just found my package. And, oh god, that was harder than I thought. Okay. Oh no. Oh. What am I supposed to do with these? Okay. I just didn't think people used these anymore. Like freaking packing peanuts. Ah. <gasps> Here's me talking about, yay, my thrifted outfit. Love that. I do not love this packaging. It's okay. It's okay. We'll figure it out. We can use them for like holding our Christmas, like, you know, like cushioning Christmas decorations and stuff like that. I will relax. It's okay. Because, damn, I haven't even seen these in real life in a long time. A long, long, long time. Super happy with the nail polishes that I chose. I got this one for my mom. It's from China Glaze at Ingrid. She's one of those people, she's like, pick me, an, pick me a nail polish, pick me a nice one. Because she's like, I always seem to get it wrong. So I picked this one for her. Um, as I said, it's called Ingrid. So it's like brown with a green gold shimmer in it. Uh, really nice. I really do like uh, China Glaze. I got this CND Vinylux. I've never tried this before. And I would say like the chemicals in this would make it, the, the dog thinks this is a snack for her. Uh, she's sitting and giving me the paw. Um, I've heard like good things about this, but I would say that the chemicals are like real bad for you in this. But I love the color, the price was right. I just decided to give this brand a try. Um, and then the two I got for myself from China Glaze are this one called Blue Ya, yeah. like a deep royal, like between somewhere between royal and midnight blue. And it's got, it's like a, almost like a duochrome shimmer in it, like uh, aqua greenish color and blue, like a dark blue. It is really nice. Uh, I cannot wait. I don't know if I should put this one on or 
this one, which is, what is it called? Monster Piece. It's from the Sesame Street collection. And I was looking at swatches online. I was like, oh, I think I need that. So I'm trying to figure out which I should, because I want to change my nails, because I'm kind of bored of this. I don't really like this. I always intend on doing fun nail things, but I actually like don't like them. I, whenever it's actually on my hands, I'm like, eh. So maybe I'll ask on Instagram. You should follow me on Instagram at anime.yt. Pretty active on there. Um, and I'm gonna see, maybe I'll do a vote. I'll ask other people and then I'll put the final two for a vote. Please ignore all the mess in the background. I'm super dirty mirror uh, because I was actually wearing pretty much different outfit with the same bodysuit this morning and it looked terrible so I switched but I'm wearing this super oh well first I have a pearl hair clip pearls monogram necklace um and then I have this bodysuit which is a little cap sleeve bodysuit great for layering I am on the bodysuit train I didn't think I would like them I'm obsessed they're so good for with skirts people always say with pants no with skirts so then this cardigan is like a thrifted one it's uh we think it's actually shrunk because it's like a medium large or something but it, I'm not that big of a person so it's pretty surprising that it would like fit me when I button it up perfectly like a little top but so cozy and then I have this skirt which is the it's hard to see with the light here oh yeah the light's terrible anyways take my word for it it's the J Crew paper bag skirt and I got it on Depop and then just tights and these cute shoes these are super big I got hair product all down my mirror I know it's gross uh, and that's a chocolate not a spider these super cute shoes from ASOS uh, are they comfortable no are they cute yes and they're just nice little extra boosty boost for the under five threes of this world good morning it is like 10 to 8 in the morning and we are just getting ready to leave I just have one class today uh, I'm not gonna stick around campus because I really just don't feel like it uh, and the dog's gonna be home alone so we're gonna go I think I'm gonna park really close as well because I'm wearing like cute shoes that will give me blisters so we're just gonna run to class come home because I'm not in the mood I have actually decided to head out to the gym. I had a little bit of food. Hi, Sparky. I think she thinks I'm bringing her out on a W-A-L-K. No, honey, it's just me. So I'll probably bring her for one later. Uh, my ColourPop stuff, I checked in class. It was so funny when the girls, when my friends in class was making fun of me. I was checking on my ColourPop order status. It said that it was attempted to be delivered yesterday. So I can pick that up after 4.30, I think. So it's like 2 p.m. now because um, I came back from class super early and just been chilling out, eating. So I'm going to go there, I'm like really high energy. So I feel like I kind of need to run it off, like work it off. I'm going to go pick up that and then I'm going to be picking up my neighbor later. But I won't be vlogging that just because his mom needs me to. Don't lick your paw. Anybody else's dogs like anxiously lick their paws. She has papillomas all over her body. It's because she's also old, but she always licks the one on her front arm. Paw, yeah, you, yeah. And she had skin granulation and it was terrible. So they couldn't take it off last time she had surgery for them. So you need to stop, bunny, okay? Thanks. I went to the gym, probably saw that clip of me stretching if I put it in. I'm that person, I will always stretch at the gym because I just can't work out and not stretch as a former dancer, like it's like illegal to me. Um. And then I came back and the dog was so desperate for a walk and I felt really bad for her. So I brought her out and she's a little happy camper. So we're back now. I'm going to go pick up my ColourPop order, which I was so excited to do. And then I realized I've been charged that. I've been charged customs on it. So it's a bit of a balls. Uh, and it's like quite a bit. Uh, last time I ordered from ColourPop, I didn't have anything like this. And it's weird, It's they obviously are clamping down on it. So if you're not aware, ordering anything outside the EU, you are liable for customs or VAT or, well, it's both. 
VAT first, then customs. If it's over 150, if it's over 22 euro, you can get charged cust uh, VAT. I mean, which is stupid low. Obviously, it's over 22 euro. Uh, cause I was buying like people's Christmas presents and stuff, and it kind of puts a downer on <laughs> getting fun stuff like this. You know, I get it for like if you're actually like what I would record, what I would regard as importing, like for a shop to sell something. You know, you were taking in a a lot of it, but for things that are over twenty two euro, and you're paying tax, it's just annoying. I didn't get charged. I, so what I figured out, I think it's if it goes through the post goes through like national post as opposed to um anyways long story short i'm pissed and i'm gonna go pay to get my freaking package it's time for a color pop unboxing so yeah obviously i had to pay the stupid fee whatever the guy was really nice about it whatever you know i'll get over it might take a while oh but yeah something i think is interesting so basically if they open it and find i think what it means is like if they open it and find oh yes we're going to chew, charge duty vassal vat customs whatever on post so like the post service charges an extra 10 euro for on post fee so that's stupid. I am assuming it's just for having to open it and check it. So the rate of VAT is 23%. And then they charged, so made it 17.05. And then they, on post fee was an extra 10. But we're not gonna be salty. We're gonna get really excited because there's some really fun stuff in here. So not show my address. Oh, I'm so excited. Better set up here than the nail polish, obviously, earlier in this. Ah! So fun. Okay. God, you look fabulous. Thank you, Color Pop. I, I actually don't right now. I look like trash, but that's okay. There's stuff here that I won't show because it's in Christmas presents for people, but Ooh. I got the I See The Light Rapunzel bundle. Mm. I'm so excited. I love Tangled. I'm gonna insert a photo. I dressed up as a Rapunzel from Tangled a couple years ago for like a school thing and it turned out really well. Uh, I definitely would not be skinny enough to fit into that costume, but that's fine. I got the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. It's HA, so I'm yeah, Hyaluronic Acid and Coconut Water. So I'm really hoping this works. Uh, I would love a good setting mist. It's oil-free. I looked at the ingredients and they were all things that should be fine. Like, obviously there's dimethicone in it, but that it's on top, so it should be okay. Here's hoping, but I really wanted something like that. I did not realize this was so small. This is the uh, Boss Brow Gel. I only ever use clear brow gel, but I thought that this would be fun to try. This is a Super Shock Shadow that I actually picked out for my Madre. Uh, it's Bill. I just picked it out for her because she's like, pick me an eyeshadow when I was doing it. And then I didn't get, there's a lip product obviously in the I see the light thing, so I didn't get anything, any other lip products because I love ColourPop lip products, if you didn't know. And I got the Midnight Masquerade palette. I wasn't going to, and then I think I saw somebody review it, and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's so princessy. I'm obsessed. Yes, so excited. Oh, and the dark colors. I really can't wait to use for autumn. So that is so fun. I'll open up the See the Light bundle. So there's a really pretty crown. And then there's, I see the light. Cute. <gasps> so pretty. So the blush is the Floating Lights blush. Ooh, and it's like a blue tone pink. It's slightly darker. I thought it was going to be like really light blue toned, uh, but it's not. It's actually a little darker, which is good. Very nice, uh, because I am so pale, it would look weird. I also didn't know that the navy part, I'm trying to get the lip product out, the navy part on top of the lip product was like navy glitter. Yes, I don't know if you can tell that like matches my nail polish. And then this is Flynn. Uh, I looked, the, uh, basically I wanted all the lip products and I like the little size of it and everything. Eek, so exciting. I, I think now I, I can get over my customs charges. I'll get over it shortly it's friday morning and it has been a morning already got up like pretty early you know to let the dog out let her do her annoying routine love you sparkles but annoying routine i don't have a foundation light enough for myself not fake tanned so this is the lightest i have 
sorry about it. Um, I, yeah, you know, ate something, I was just getting ready for the day and I had to drop my mom's car to be serviced, but it's only like a short walk away from my house because it's really close to our house. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll, you know, just walk back, no bother. So I went and I dropped the car and I walked back and obviously I left the keys there I had locked myself out of the house, which is great because the reason I was dropping it is that there's nobody else home. So, and I don't have class till 12 today, thankfully. Um, and I decided to go early, TG. So then I ended up calling my mom being like, hey, uh, I'm Nithia. And then I went over to my neighbors. Thankfully there was someone over there. Their dog actually like raised the alarm. They couldn't hear me knocking because their doorbell is broken. Their dog actually raised the alarm. <laughs> he's a, he's a, a big dog and he's a big softy but boy you nobody's going robbing that house i tell you he's a he's scary he was protecting his home so um i i went over to the fence i was like no dude it's just me and he was like Ugh, my friend so then he ran inside and he went to the front door and he was like my friend is here um so i was able to get keys from their house thankfully so clearly i'm back indoors uh, but it's cold out this morning, so I'm glad I wasn't there for too long. I'm just gonna like get myself ready to go into the car and um, drive to college. I think I'm gonna listen to a podcast, um, and I'm gonna download one because I don't. I'm not really interested in any of the ones I have downloaded at the minute. And yeah, it's gonna be just a regular school day now that all of this drama is over. The light is terrible in general actually at this time of year. That is why I have my glasses on. Uh, we're at college. Don't want to go to this class at all. At all. It's a day off. It is a lab. Some freaking for research methods lab. We only have for the last like three weeks of the semester so like okay I can chill but uh yeah I'd really rather not. Um but it's all good. I was sneezing the whole friggin' way here because, again, the light. One of those people with a really strong uh, light, photic sneeze, reflex, whatever. I brought some banana chocolate chip muffins with me. Uh, if people come to class, they can be like, hey, you want one? Um, but, yeah. There, I feel like there's something that smells funky in my car. So I need to figure that out. Let go to class. It is so much later now. My eyes look so red. Maybe less so if I face this way. That is it for this week in my life. I'm going to volunteer tomorrow with my little neighbor. Uh, who's not so little, she's 16. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna be volunteering at an animal welfare center. This is very much the end of my college week. I hope you enjoyed seeing what it was like. Uh, it's been a busy, but also pretty normal week for me. Um, I think things are gonna kind of change up a bit as we get closer to Christmas and break and choosing a thesis topic etc so stay tuned for all of that subscribe to my channel if you made it through any of this at all I doubt you did but congrats if you did uh, I will leave some videos of mine here that you might be interested in and I will leave the subscribe button here if you want to do that you should also follow me on anime you should also follow me on Instagram at anime.yt that's it for me